Yeah, you've taken the decision, you're going to retire. I guess the big question is why now? Um, I think it's just uh, the right time to, to bow out. Uh, pushing on a little bit now, getting a little bit slower. Um, uh, right time for my career to sort of move on and for it some time to do other things, really. So, uh, Giles, um, Elliot, really, uh, last game on Saturday, your initial thoughts? Well, I've known Elliot for a long time. Uh, he and I actually joined Macclesfield together. Uh, 2012, I think. We've had a bit, of a, a bit of time here prior to that before we went to Rotherham. And of course, we'd worked together at Wilmslow and, and then he played for the North Under 20s before he got in England County Under 20s camp as well. I was doing the North 20s that year. Uh, he's, he's a great lad. Um, he's, he's been an incredibly dynamic player as long as I've known him. contributed hugely over my time here and he'll be missed. Has it been a tough decision? Um, yes, yes it has. I mean, obviously I've been played here now for what five seasons so um, and I've played rugby since I was what about eight or nine years old so it's sort of been a big part of my life so um, yeah it's a big decision to sort of leave and see I'll have a, a bit more spare time moving forwards but uh, have you, are you, you didn't want to slide down the league, you just thought National 1's a good way to bow out? Um, yeah, I always I always love National 1 rugby, it's good standard, it's competitive, every match is, you know, it's a, it's a tough match. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm too competitive for me to, to go down to different leagues and whatnot, so. I uh, fully understand these reasons, players just sometimes get to that point where they, they want to hang up the boots. Well, life gets in the way, unfortunately. And you know, he's he's in a very successful job now. Uh, he's working hard to get some extra qualifications, and that takes time. And we are not professional rugby players as much as, as we try and be as professional as we can be. And uh, so you know, life takes to get away. You said you're going to have some more time on your hands. What are you going to do with yourself? Um, started an accountancy degree um, part time, so outside of work and. Um, working towards um, getting chartered and so a lot of time will be spent doing that um, and then just sort of enjoy my weekends. I mean as I said I've played rugby since I was eight years old so you know, over the seasons and pre-seasons that's a lot of Saturdays I've sort of spent on the rugby pitch or training so quite nice just have a bit of free time to enjoy myself. You said, you said uh, you've been here for five years, um, you've had some great times I imagine on and off the field, is there a, store, is there a best moment on the field you can give us? Um, I'm sure Tom Eaton would like me to say Darlington away winning the National 2 League a few seasons ago. Um, say as, much, as much as I hate to say, it's probably up there, yeah, that's probably one of the best moments. And uh, a best off the field story, keep it clean. <laughs> I can't. No clean stories. Right. I'm sure on Saturday uh, Elliot uh, will get a big send off from the club. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You know, he's, um, he will. Retiring on your own terms is, is quite nice. It's too often you see players having to retire early through injury. So it's great that he's, he's going out the way he wants to. And of course, we've got a number of other players that are, that are on their way and they'll all be sent off uh, in the right way by the club. Uh, obviously, you've had a few centre partners in the five years you've been here. Could you, would you like to upset somebody by saying the best and worst? Oh, no, I wouldn't say best and worst. Um, yeah, no, I've had a few few good centre partnerships. Um, going back from when I started, uh, you know, you've got old school Dabbers, who's now done class is new. Um, Max Smith, who's, who's been playing this season, he's obviously just coming back from injury now. He's, you know, he's a, an old Seba boy like myself, so we enjoy playing with him eventually. Uh, obviously, you've got a gap to fill. Um, how, how are you going to go about doing that? Well, we've got Lewis Winterbottom in the squad and, and he's already shown some glimpses this year. Obviously, he's had a few injury concerns, uh, but hopefully they're behind him now. So, he's got some big boots to fill and uh, we're talking to a couple of other players as well. All right. uh, obviously, we've mentioned a few names there about people you've played with, but uh, looking to the future, I know it's not your problem, but uh, do you see some talent around at Macclesfield and the local area moving in to take your 13 shirt? Um, yeah, I hope so. We'll see Lewis Winterbottom. He's, he's a Keen sort of outside centre, he's played a few times this season and come off the bench. He's only a young player, so I'd like to see how he progresses. And I'm sure you know, you've got like Sam Frost, who's done 
you know, well this year at full back, but I think he's a you know an out and out centre with the knocks of 12 13. But yeah, I'm sure there's a few Kings boys coming through the ranks, and I hope to see somebody fill it long term like I have for the last five seasons. So. Yeah, Ladies' Day is a charity shirt say at auction. It's just gonna be a big end to this, a big occasion for the end of the season. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's great that we hold the Ladies' Day every year, and Breast Cancer Awareness is a it's a really important charity. That's one that we're really proud to support as a club and particularly as a team. O'Neill's have been very kind to provide us with with some match shirts, which are fairly bright. Uh, and the boys are looking forward to wearing those and, and there'll be an opportunity to auction those off although you might want to give them a wash <laughs> before you uh, before you put them on the mantelpiece uh, and you know, we've got some warm up t-shirts as well which I think is great and massive thanks to O'Neill's for, for doing that but it's a big day, last last uh, game of the season hopefully the weather will be kind to us, the forecast looks fairly reasonable it's obviously been a tough year for us this year so it'll be nice to, to sign things off on a high for the playing group as a whole that alone here for the guys at home. We look forward to it, Charles. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Uh, who in the squad do you reckon you'll miss? I'll miss. Definitely not Eaton. Um, I'll miss my, my, my good friend Kingy, I suppose, but I'm sure I'll see him out and about. Um, I'll miss, you know, all the lads really. I've been here for five seasons, so I've got to know quite a few of the, the old school boys. So, yeah, no, I'll miss them, really. And uh, obviously, when you run out on Saturday, for the last time, will there be a tear in your eye? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Just looking forward to uh, getting one back on each of this weekend. So, uh, Elliot, thank you for the memories. All the best for the future and uh, good luck in whatever you go on today. Thank you very much.